It's Saturday Night Live! It's Mark Pyers. And it's Renaissance, man. I'm here to ease my mind and help my living. It's a renaissance, man. It's the daily variety show, Mark Pyre's Renaissance, man. I'm here to connect with you. To amplify your current state. And I'm here with you on day 1,007 in a row of the Renaissance Man Show. And we're going to get into it, just like we do every single night, fam. I hope you're excited for it, because I don't know what we're going to do yet. I had one thing that I thought of earlier. I was like, that would be fun for us to try today. So we'll see. No, Zabrowski, I'm not going to give it away bef before the show. I can't give away the one secret I got for the night, Zabrosk. Yeah, He always wants to get the secret up front. He's like, look, I read the book, The Secret. I need to know. Just let me know, freaking know what it is. I don't want to be in this, the dark anymore. Just tell me the secret. I'm sorry. I can't tell you the secret. You're going to have to wait. All right. It's a good one, I think. I don't know. We'll see. Everything we do here is on the fly. Anyway, how's everybody doing out there, huh? It's Saturday Night Live! And I gotta say, it's nice to see we starting off with some family members here, and we're gonna go. We're gonna create something magical tonight. I know something that I did differently tonight that I haven't done in a while is I put strings and a battery in the old acoustic. <laughs> So I think we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to play this puppy tonight. Lying in the field under the sun, I'm playing my steel drums in the background. moment creating that song and it wasn't until the very end when we made that connection buddy right you were like hmm we just created magic mark magic mark you forgot i did that as well you thought that it was no that was me doing the, the dancer in there but when i did the zabrowski situation and we did this connection thing right stars align we did us something to live for and at the end after all of that love and that passion that was just brought to the surface between Zabrosk and myself. Grammy. <laughs> Woohoo! He got a Grammy. They, they looked past the song. They looked past me on the, the Grammy selection committee. But they gave the woohoo Grammy, which I'm proud of to be connected, sort of, you know? Like, oh, Grammy of the Year. Matt Zabrowski for Woohoo on Mark Pyre's song, Something to Live For. So I still got, like, my name in there on the credits, you know? But, of course, they didn't even look at the song or listen to it ever. They just heard the woohoo. They just had woohoo cuts. 
You know how they do that? They're like, oh, we have the best 50 songs of the year. They have the best 50 woohoos as well. You know, Zabrosk, just cream of the crop, guys. When you're cream of the crop, you know, you're just like, mm. you get a gig every day forever on the Renaissance Match Show when you do that, you know? Mm-hmm. I know, dude, you did it. We heard it. What's that? No, Joanne, you can't, you know, she always wants to throw in like a two-part harmony. Your two-part harmony is like an eight-part harmony of dread. You know, nobody wants to hear the George Soros background. He's doing a beautiful woo-hoo, Grammy, and you're back there going, woo-hoo. No, it's not good. No, I don't even, I don't want to hear even just an attempt. You did it the other day and I got sick. I had to go and, and lay down. I thought I had the civet because you made me feel weird. You know, Joanne... Everybody's a little, you know, awkward around you these days. You're dealing with a mag. We're, we're actually like magma carditis. It's like it's about to overflow, molten lava, you know, and we're worried about you. Affleck called. He said, are we going to have the first Affleck carditis or what? He wants credit. He wants to be in the medical journals like he hasn't gotten enough of a big head. No, no pun intended, you know, uh, but seriously, when you've got a head the size of the moon, you know, people wonder if one day you're just going to take off like a satellite. Where did he go? Affleck just took off. You know, he's in the solar system somewhere. You know, one day he's going to find his way back to our planetary, you know, environment and align with us. I'm worried, though, that day when he comes back, I don't know if he's coming back like mm, soft landing or if he's like, I'm coming in. You know what I mean? Like Affleck coming in. Like, you know, asteroid style? No good. No good. We're done. <sighs> Dust. You ever seen Spaceballs? Yeah. Same thing. You know, just like, pew, all of a sudden there's dust. And like, where did that planet go? Done. I don't know. Affleck. Affleck just went right through it. And he went on to the next constellation. You know, when you're dealing with an Affleck situation, you have to understand that all bets are off. The, the boundaries of physics do not apply when you're dealing with an Affleck situation. What's that, Zabrosk? No, I know, Zabrosk. Zabrosk says maybe we should write a song about Affleck head. Not a bad idea. I mean, why? it's not a bad idea, right, Zabrosk? Maybe you could sing the backgrounds with a woo-woo. I don't want to friggin' hear Joanne. She's doing enough filing already in the background, right? Zabrowski file. Stop doing the Zabrowski file. He's sitting right there. He's right there, ready to do song. You're back there doing a file situation? I just can't figure you out, Joanne. Joanne, I'm about to serenade and do a song about Affleck carditis and Affleck head. And you're asking them to do a GoFundMe pitch? She's always plugging. You know, I don't plug anything but my songs here. I'm proud of my music, okay? But you plug your freaking GoFundMe all the time, Joanne, you know? You hear her all the time, right, guys? I'm in the middle of singing. I'm like, the beautiful day, beautiful night. And in the background, she's going, check out my GoFundMe page. What are you freaking doing? I'm in the middle of a beautiful day, beautiful night song, <laughs> right? You're going to just throw a, a GoFundMe pitch, George Soros style, over my shoulder? Uh, uh. Well, nobody wants that. You know, I mean, Zabrosk doesn't even want that. That's when he gets up and leaves. You know, we're trying to keep it clean here, Joanne. We don't swear and we also don't scare people away, you know, with your Affleck carditis slash Soros voice. I'm worried about it. I'm worried about you. And then they told you they wanted you to go back for a booster. What are we talking? You got a quadruple double already. You got another one? Alan Iverson? What are we talking about over here? I'm just saying, when you go back for your booster, which is really the, probably the 15th you're taking, because we know when you go there, you get at least two. You're shaking around. Freaking nurses everywhere. Mm, back the ruse. Bing, biggity boo. Everywhere you go, you got a nurse with one in their hands going, mm, who else can I stick with this freaking thing? When you got a Joanne situation, George Soros, she's laying there on the couch going like this because she already got three. And they're just like, everybody walked away after they give it. They're like, and they walk in the other direction because they don't want anybody to know they gave it. They're just like, okay, we got one more vial completed today because they have to continue the vial. You know, they have to deposit the vials into people so they can get credit and get paid. They get paid every time they, they give a shot to someone. That's something you didn't know about. Um, may have made that up, but it doesn't matter. The point is they're doing it. You know what I mean? And so you're there 
right? And you're thinking to yourself, I don't want to fall into a Joanne trap, you know, where I go in for one and I get a 74, you know what I mean? Like each nurse comes in with one and they're just like, oh, let me try. Maybe the mine's better. And they're like, let's do, well, let's go from this one to that one. Let's do a mixeroo. That's a good idea. The first one didn't work. Let's throw another of the first one in there and see if that does, but I think that's going to be a good idea. We're on strain five or six. Let's just go back to the first one and keep dumping that into people. My freaking first generation car today, guys. Check this out. You want to hear something funny? We talk about first series, right? I love my car. I love my car, guy. But you know what's pretty pretty funny? Look at this today. I got a recall notice on my car. I've been driving this car since July 31st. What day is today, guys? October 23rd? This is three months I've been in this car. Right? Beautiful car. It's a great car, guys. It's a car. Yeah, it's a great car. First freaking series. How many times have I told you that? First series, right? <laughs> today, I was like, I see this little warning notification in the corner of my of my screen here in the Ford thing. It says two recalls, two recalls. Wait a second, I've been driving this car for three months. I thought it was perfect. First series, I thought it was perfect. You guys got it right. Let's just throw another one in there. Wait, hold on, Dr. Weasel Fouch. Dr. Weasel Fouch says we should throw another one. Let's do another booster on top of the booster of the same series. Cause that seemed to work great for zero days. We told people it worked for 15 days. Now we're going to give them a booster every 12 days. On, and then every Christmas we give them two. It's like the, the gift. We give them a gift of Christmas. It's two more. They're going to get two more boosters for Christmas. You want to get the New Year's? You got to get two boosters. It's not about freedom. It's not about personal freedom. We're talking about the safety of the country. 99.9999999 people could, could survive this if we didn't give them poop. But we decided to give them poop, And so now we're all killing people. And plus, also the backs of boo is also doing that too. So we're double decker. We're dumping a double decker. Dr. Weasel Fouch, when you got a Weasel Fouch situation and you're there and people say, Dr. Weasel Fouch, how do we, how do we solve this pandemic? And I say, very simple. We give them more backs of booze. And they're like, oh, but wait a second. That first one didn't seem to work. You know what? Let's get to the other brand. Let's give them the, the other brand. We'll do a mix of roux. That's going to work better. Oh, but wait a uh, but, 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 but. We don't need more strains. Just give them 74 of the first strain. And it's going to equal the fifth strain. That's how we work here in the U.S. We don't look at data. It's all, you know, you're talking about just something that's anecdotal. It's anecdotal. When you got someone talking about 99.9% .9 in a Petri dish, it's anecdotal. You know, 54% remdesipoop. It's anecdotal. It was just one study. We can't go by that. We got to save lives. We can't test. We can't even go through human trial. We can't do that. We can't do it. We got to make sure we go right for the jugular or kill this, this virus off. Yeah, 100% of the people survive. <laughs> Dr. Weasel Fouch. Well, you got a Weasel Fouch situation going on, guys, but let me get back to the story. So we're talking about a car that's awesome. Everybody, you know, I'll, I'll tell you, it's the, I love the car. It's the Ford Mach-E. It's the Mustang Mach-E. I love it. It's all electric. I don't ever have to pay for gas again. But I just get these two recalls today, guys. You want to hear what they are? First recall. Panoramic roof glass reseal. If the panoramic roof glass panel separates from the vehicle while it is being driven... It could be an increase to the risk of road hazard, injury, or crash. What? My freaking panoramic roof may just come flying off the car? First series? <laughs> what are we talking about? Let's give them a second mixeroo. You give me a mixeroo? Second, first series. Okay, so <laughs> owners will be notified by mail, you know, where to bring their car and, and have this thing resolved. Number two. <laughs> it gets even better, guys. The windshield may not stay adequately retained in a crash, which may adequate, which may increase the risk of injury to an occupant in a crash. So basically, if that car gets in a crash, the windshield could come flying off. Yeah, I've been driving this car for two and a half months. Nobody knew about it. It's the first year. It's great, guys. We got it right. We did the research. You did the freaking research. You got nothing. Just wait. I'm hoping we get to April and everybody's still here. I don't know. 
All I know is there's some really interesting information coming out of Ireland. Woo! There is this one place, 99.7% of the people were all good. They're like, we did it. We got the boogaboo. Three weeks later, they had the highest rate in Ireland of, in, uh, of, of city. How does that happen when almost 100% of the people are totally bugabooed and they have the highest rate in Ireland three weeks later? Hmm. Sounds like they're idiots like we were, where they're like, let's get back to normal and just do everything back like we did, take off our masks and just be like kissing again. They're all kissing the streets. They came down with the bugaboo. So I thought what we should do is write a song about Affleck Head. Affleck Head. You got a message. Whenever you travel around, you need an escort. Now, because you're cool, you don't need a bodyguard. You need to clear the way, clear the path. Cause your massive head can't make it through the next underpass. No, so you, you call in to the National Guard. You say, I got a the gig to get to today Poor National Guard guy says no way I can't believe I gotta do this again I gotta drive 50 miles ahead and clear everyone along the way cause we don't want anyone to die when Affleck come by seems to steamroll everyone with that massive head yeah he's a planet i swear imagining being on a movie set happening two men one of the cameras to shoot that massive head i don't know maybe i can get just a piece of it mm -hmm. for stitching it to make a one film yeah Interesting what you can do in 2021. You can make him look small like everyone else. But we all know the truth. It takes 350 cameras to shoot you. you stitch them all together while they shoot Jennifer Gardner with a single cam. Yeah, that's the size of you, man. Everyone got an ultra wide lens and they can't even get you all in frame. Oh, oh, it's the game, yeah. They're getting paid overtime now, cause they know they're not getting home until dinner time, yeah. Affleck, Affleck, oh, you destroy everyone's plans Ooh, when you got things to do. Oh, no one can do what they want to Cause they got to clear their path Cause they don't want to die from Affleck, no He's coming to town They're clearing out now Oh, they got to go away And come back in a week We should have a Barreling through like a tornado, like a hurricane, yeah. Mm, like hail and freezing rain, it's pouring down on all the plains, and you can't go near him. No, he's got a gravitational pull, yeah. Talk about Affleck Head, oh, massive head traveling all over the land. Watch out because he can be the reason we have a climate change. Yeah, you move from this hemisphere to there, and you know he's changing all the Yeah, when he goes oh too far, he shifts the planetary place. Oh, when we're back in an ice age, King Gear. Affleck head is blocking the sun. Yeah, he 
He's sitting there laughing at everyone. He said, and I could generate my own heat. Yeah, I just swing my head around. Oh, yeah, it's how it's done when you're the size of the sun. Athlete on the run. Athlete on the run. People found out he's as big as the sun. They all bought the lie for so long. They were like, man, this guy is so cool until they saw him in person. They were like, man, that guy's head is big. I never saw anything like it before. It's like the size of Lake of Michigan. Oh, I don't know if he can swim there or if he can just lay down and we can use his head as a bridge. Seems like it. Cause I think it's massive In Africa In Africa Dr. Weasel Fouch, when I go outside, everybody's like, oh, could I have a picture with Dr. Weasel Fouch? And I'm like, yeah, sure, as long as you got your vaxaro and your papers. You can't go anywhere without your papers. The papers are good because it tells us who's been bugabooed and who does not have the backsaboo, who does not have backs, who does not have the backs, the, the bovid by Dean. How do we say this? Who does not have the clovid? And we're going to call it clovid. That's what we got to do is call it clovid from now on. We need the papers to see who doesn't have the clovid. Dr. Weasel Fouch, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be devil's advocate, but isn't it true that you could have the bugaboo and also still get share, get sick, and die of clovid clientine? Oh, that's anecdotal. That's anecdotal that you're going to get sick and that you're going to have a problem with the, the civet. The civet is not, does not get transmitted when you've got the bugaboo. The bugaboo is it's, it's effective 95% of the time. Civet. The civet is not, does not get transmitted when you've got the bugaboo. The bugaboo is it's, it's effective 95% of the time. For how long is it effective, though? Like, are we talking about, like, a week, a month, six months, a year? That's anecdotal. We don't really know where it goes and how long it will stay in your system and protect you. But we do know that people are saved because of it. Nobody's getting sick, and there's been no reactions at all to, the, to, the, to this thing that we're dealing with. Hold on, wait, there's been no reactions? Nobody's having any issues? No myocarditis? We got a Joanne situation here, Weasel Fouch. She's got gigantocarditis right now, well beyond myocarditis. She went all the way up gigantocarditis. She's right about to hit an Affleck carditis. Oh, I, that is anecdotal. You're talking about anecdotal stuff right now. That's not anecdotal. That's real world situation. Joanne, Joanne, why don't you come waddle over here and tell him all about it? Fou Weasel Fouch, you want to see Joanne come over here? No, I don't want to hear from Joanne. We don't listen to any people who say they have side effects. It's fake people. Those are not pe real people who have the side effects. They're, they're just making up stories. It's anecdotal. Nothing is anecdotal. You just like to throw that word around a lot. No, no, it's, it is anecdotal. Unless I say it. If I say it, then it's peer-reviewed. Wait, you're peer-reviewed, but everything else is anecdotal? Correct. Exactly. Wait, I don't get it. Why are you doing a Weasel Fouch situation on me? You know, I just want to know the truth. Can I go get it and still get it? Like, where are we on that? No, if you get the bugaboo, the first four days you won't get it. Wait, I won't get, 
What, a civet in the first four days? Correct. Wait, but what about after that? You die. Wait, huh, to die? No, well, you can not. If you get the bugaboo, then you're protected from the civet nine. Wait, but you just said that I'm not, that I could still get it after day four. Well, it's anecdotal. No wonder you're saying anecdotal all the time. What are we doing, e Weasel Fouch? I just want a straight answer from you, okay? Like, can't give it to me straight, just once? Just one time, you know? Here's one, here's a softball for you. Softball for you, Weasel Fouch. If you know, and we know, because I've looked at the data that you're not talking about right now. If we know for sure that you can get the bugaboo, you could still get civid, you could still pass civid, you could still get sick from civid and die from civid. Why would you, first of all, get the bug boo? And secondly, if you do, why would a card mean anything? Why would a card mean anything, Weasel Fouch, if you could still be someone carrying it, spreading it, getting sick and dying from it? What does a card mean? Well, we need to control everybody. Well, that's what I thought. I caught you. I knew it has nothing to do with safety and health. It has to do with control. Correct. Exactly. It's not anecdotal. See? I knew it. Sometimes it's not anecdotal. Sometimes it's peer-reviewed. That one is peer-reviewed. We're absolutely going to take your freedom away. Wait, you can't take my freedom. You can't watch me. Wait, you can't do that, Weasel Fouch. I'm here. I'm the one doing it. I'm here doing a show positivity. You're trying to take away my freedom? Exactly. We're going to take everyone's freedom away. It's not about freedom. It's about public safety. It's not about public safety. 99.997% of people are surviving. Well, that's anecdotal. No, it's not freaking anecdotal. Oh my goodness, anecdotal freaking vouch is what I've got going on over here. Exactly. No, I don't want you to hear you saying good, just kind of, I don't need you to placate me, okay? I want you to be straight with the American people, okay? Here's another one. Why do you go on and consistently say that we need to get more people bugabooed because then they won't get the civet? Why would you go out there and tell people that if they get the bugaboo, they won't get civet when we know that they are getting it, they are spreading it, they are getting sick, and they are dying from it? Why are you doing that? What's going on, Weasel Fouch? Well, well, we got to make sure we keep, you know, people in fear. I know you're doing a fear-monger situation. Exactly. It's not anecdotal. Hi, why do you keep throwing around that word? I don't know if you know what that means, Weasel Fouch. You throw it around like you know what it means, but it's like you say it every freaking three words. What are you doing? Well, it's anecdotal that you say that. I absolutely understand it. And if you have not gone through a peer review process, it's anecdotal. Yeah, but when you talk about, when you talk about hydroxy poopy pants and how some people are getting good results, and on the other thing that the horses are using, and then you're sitting there saying, you're not a horse. Well, we know you're not a horse, but why are you going out there when we know that this has been used on human beings for a very, very long time, and you're there saying that it's just for freaking horses? Well, it's anecdotal. It's anecdotal that it would work. Just because a Petri dish kills it 99.9% .9 of the time. It's anecdotal. You can't say that's anecdotal. Those are actual powerful and interesting pieces of data. That's a data point you should be looking at. Why haven't you looked at that, Dr. Fouch, Dr. Weasel Fouch, why have you not looked at that, those two drugs that many, many frontline doctors have said work extremely well and save lives? Because it's anecdotal. We haven't been able to put together a team to look at those because they may not be effective. And we can't. We have something very effective right now. It's safe and effective. You keep saying safe and effective. 50,000 people have shiggity ba boo down for the count. And the other thing I want to know is how come if you go and you take a dive within the first 14 days of taking the bugaboo, you guys call it a death by CV unvaxxed. How does that even make sense? Well, that's just the way we collect the data. Well, why are you collecting data wrong? Well, because we have to make it look like it's a scary, scary thing. Well, we know how you're making it look. But I went to a freaking football game yesterday. Everyone's walking around. I don't know if you freaking care about your stupid things. It's not anecdotal. They're like, I'm done. I did a Miyagi. I almost got him too, Dr. Weasel Fouch. But what is your deal? You do an anecdotal crap? 
We're there football games. Everybody's walking around. And you're doing a crap thing thing that it's just as bad as it was last year. Nobody cares anymore. It's a it's anecdotal that you said that. You know, when you got a guy who does an anecdotal situation over and over, you know what I mean? Like, you just want to get some information out of the guy, you know what I mean? But he doesn't give it to you. Okay, Weasel Fouch, one final question, okay? When are we going to be through this? When every person in the country's bugabooed. Every person in the country? Didn't you just see what happened in Ireland? No, what happened in Ireland? I don't look at any data. You don't look at anything at all? No, we don't study science. What do you do then? We just do what the frig we want. <laughs> yeah, I know. That we're pretty clear is what's been going on. You know, I don't really understand how you get away with it. You know, like Evil Fouch, Dr. Evil Fouch. Of course it's Dr. Evil. Dr. Evil Fouch. Dr. Evil Fouch. I'm Dr. Evil Fouch. It's not anecdotal when you want to try to destroy the planet. Well, we get, you guys are trying to destroy the society. You have very, very um, clearly pointed that out. And when you say that it's about public safety, when people are clearly over what you're doing, we're about to run into a major issue in this country. Because it's clear to me that people are not going to just let you take their freedoms away. We'll see about that. Dr. Weaselvouch. We will see about that. I'm calling my friend. His name is uh, Smith and Wesson. Oh, I'm familiar with him as well. Why, do you have a Smith and Wesson, Dr. Weasel Fouch? No. Such a Weasel Fouch, you know what I mean? You know, listen, Weasel Fouch, one more thing I just got to know before we let you go for the day. What is there for a giganticarditis? You know, I got a GoFundMe page going for Joanne, but right now she has no idea, like, that we're not doing well. Every time I look, we're at, like, $2.37. $3.15. All right, Joanne, we'll check right now. She wants to see. Oh, Joanne! You're up to four twelve. Oh, oh, 413 Someone just donated a penny. You're doing great. You know, look, when you got a Joanne situation, she's on the border of, of getting close to gargantua carditis. Gargantua carditis is an actual term. It will be in the, the newest journal of medicine. There's a lady named Joanne who has a gargantua carditis. I know. I know, Weasel Fouch. That's, that's the Joanne right there. She's got the gargantua carditis. You know, you pretend like you don't know that I've got the GoFundMe. Joanne Brown, the Renaissance Man page shows massively ridiculous heart that needs to be excised and replaced immediately. Dot, you know, ORG. And you didn't do it? You know, you do a weasel fouch? You know, I don't know, weasel fouch. I think we're kind of over you at this point. Well, thank you for giving me the time today in the Renaissance Man show. Remember, get your bugaboo. It's very important because you won't get the civet if you get the bugaboo. Stop freaking saying that. You get the civet, you get sick from the civet, you seven, spread the civet, you die from the civet. If you get the bugaboo. So don't stop saying that. Well, that's anecdotal. That's anecdotal that you said that. We absolutely believe and will continue to say, if you get the bugaboo, you will not get the civet 9-2. Bye, Weasel Fauci Menon. When you got a Weasel Fauci Menon situation going on, you kind of go with it, you know? Thank you.